What's up, everybody? It's your boy T Ray Retros, and today I'm going to show you how to install games for one layer. Uh, you have to make sure you have a GOG file. So you just open up your one layer. You got to make sure you have the right settings for your one layer, also. I'll do it up in here. So you just choose your container you want to install the game in. And the game only going to be installed in that container. So before you install it, make sure the files look like this. Just click on the setup application. Make sure you have enough space, click yes, and click install. It's going to be on this screen for a little bit, so I'm going to cut the video and pick back where I left off. All right, y'all, I'm finally back. Uh, it was 12.14 when I first started, and now it's 12.57. So that's how long it took for the game to even get installed. And so that's how you install it. Uh, I just tried to launch it. But I got to make sure my settings right for it to launch. So it's right here, Batman Origins. Um, probably gonna do the settings on this video. Pretty shortcut. No, it didn't go through. So let me see if I can get it to work. Hope it worked. Mm. All right, y'all, I could not get the Batman game to run. Uh, I don't know the settings or nothing, but the next part of the video, I'll show you how to set up your keys for your Odin. Input controls. So you just basically create a new file, whatever you want to name it, don't matter. I recognize, I recommend you name the title of your game. But I'm just gonna put red. So you go down to external controller and you just map out your keys. 
So it depends on how you want to play your game um, for the PC. If you're going to play it like keyboards or gamepad. I always play mine on the gamepads. So just change these buttons. And map them out. That's L1. This is R1. This is L2. R2. So after you do that, just go over to Controls Editor. And you map these buttons out the same place right here also. So this will be the R1. Just go to Bind and Keyboards. Go down to Gamepad. R1. This will be R2. Keyboard, Gamepad. Go down to you see R2. This is L1. And L2. And if you do that with all these buttons, it should be mapped correctly. And that's basically how you do that.